Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do front-end validation using Vue.js. And in my previous video, I have already shown you how to store form data in database and also how to show the to store message like for the success and for the error. If you have not watched those videos, the link will be available in the description below or somewhere here in the screen. Please go back and watch those videos and get back to this screen. Okay, so let's get started. So for the front-end validation, I'm going to use v valid. You can search for v validated. So you can click here, and we are using view three. So we'll be following this document. Here you can get click on get started. All right, you can see all the documentation over here. So you can follow this documentation. Here we have the component based. Okay, as well as the composition API. Okay, now let's install this be valid. For that, you can go to validation basics. Okay, here you can see the setup process. And here I'm going to use this one npm install be valid. You can copy this and you can run this command. All right, all right, it's installed now. We have successfully installed the library. To check the library, you can go to package.json. In the package.json, you can see we have be valid 4.5.10 is installed. All right. Now let's get back to the documentation. So here you need to follow the documentation. Here we have like a field and form. In our form field, we are using form. Okay, so we need to replace that form with the capital F, FRM form. Okay. This is the component that uh, we validate has given and instead of input you need to give the field so let's uh, let's do the test first okay for that let's copy this one i'm going to copy this form and in the main dot view let me define over here before this form let's use this form let's save this and uh, to use this form and field we need to import this from be valid so copy this one and let me import over here all right save this and we, we need to import this component as we define this component okay save this one and on summit what you want to do you can do as for your which is okay so let me paste this over here now i'm already running npm run watch so let's get back and refresh this form here we can see all right okay whenever we click this form here we can see okay, in the console Submitting all right that method has been called all right now. Let's get back to the code And let's remove these things. We'll start doing the validation now So we need this form and field components and let's uh, remove All this form also so before we remove this form we need to replace this form this small form form tag with uh, this form component Okay, that has been given by the vvaldit and let's minimize this also and close this small form tag with this form component. Alright, now let's remove this. Okay, let's update the input field one. Uh, this is the input field, okay, this is the type text and let's re replace this with field. Alright. Whenever we'll be using this field component, we need to give the name as well. So name attributes is required. So here you can put first name. All right, for the last name also, let's give field and type will, type will be text. Here, let's update name. Name will be last underscore name. You can give the field name as a name, okay? And let's update for the email as well. So 
this will be also filled and instead of this will be also filled and name will be email okay and let's uh, do for the phone number also filled and name will be phone and for this also current experience filled field and name will be current experience all right now here we have city also this will be field component and name will be city here we have state also we are going to replace input with field and name will be listed all right now for the gender we'll, uh, we are using ready bottom so we'll do this later on so for now you can escape this one and let's get back to the form and refresh this the design looks same whenever we inspect here we can see the input that was handled by the form component all right now let's get back to the documentation over here we are already using form and field and here you can see one validated example okay validated example we will be using this one for that we need to use the rules okay here using these rules you can create your own rules to validate the field let's use this one will be validating email for now so here we have email field here all right now use the rules okay rules will be validate email and let's define this method so let's copy this one and we can paste it over here This is the custom validation all right now here valid email the value will be passed over here and if there is no value the field is required okay uh, you can remove this code if you don't uh, want this to be required okay here this code is using the rejects to validate the email if email is not valid the field must be a valid email this message will be pop up over there or whatever message you want to so you can change this all right and let's let's save this and get back to the form I refresh this one all right let me submit this one okay we are getting nothing right now currently we are not displaying any message let's back to the documentation here we need to use error message component to show the error message all right so let's copy this copy this and paste it over here and you need to define the components as well let's get back and copy this component and this will be under the email field here you can see here you can paste it save this one name will be email that's why we're giving name to show the exact message of that particular field let me refresh this one and let me paste it over here here you can see the field is required all right here whenever you type any anything random value it will show the error message because the email is not valid and if you provide the valid email address the error message will be disappear all right if you remove this one and then the message will be over here all right let's change the color of this error message for that i'm going to use the same uh, class name that we have used for this asterisk okay so well, let me check for the class here you can see form required we can use the same class name for this as well so here you can see class equals to this form required let's refresh this one and let's try to submit this 
the field is required if there is any wrong message the field must be a parallel email all right guys now let's get back to the documentation let's go to the build of form generator here one important thing we need to know is like a schema if you want to create a form dynamic then you need to use the schema okay you can follow the documentation over here and you can try it yourself this is just for the dynamic form and now let's get back to the validation here also you can see different form validation like uh, this field is required so let's implement these things uh, for the first name and the last name so let's go down and let's copy this method all right let's uh, implement uh, for first name and the last name under this methods you can paste it and is required is, the, is our rules now new rules okay for the first name and the last name so here you can give rules equals to is required all that this is same thing as we have done and error message you can copy this one and we need to show the error of this last name okay all right now let's copy this and paste it over here for the first name as well okay here we will have the first name let's save this and let's get back to the form refresh this and let's try to submit this okay here you can see this field is required this field is required and the field is required and let's get back uh, to the documentation one second here we are using the components based uh, validation right you can do the same thing f in composition api as well but it should be inside the setup method so you need to write or whatever you want to write uh, th those methods will be inside the setup method so that's quite different but uh, you can uh, follow the documentation and you can use and here we have other examples like for the checkbox and radio bottom also how to do the validation for the checkbox this uh, this is exactly the same okay it is quite similar it will be easy to understand for you so you can do it yourself so you need to follow the recommendation how we can do the validation and here we have the custom inputs okay async validation cross field validation array validation those things are over here so you can follow the documentation and also you can try from here like uh, you can open the code sandbox all right and you can go to the app dot view here you can see how it, it was done and how how the validation can be done for the multiple array so you can try this one and for others also you can uh, you can go and follow the documentation step by step you'll know more about the b validation or front-end validation how we can handle in Vue.js. so i hope you understand how to use the uh, front-end validation and how to implement front-end validation in upcoming videos we'll also do the back-end validation as well so please uh, don't forget to subscribe our channel if you have any doubts regarding this video you can comment in the comment section below thank you